Hello. The other day in class, we were talking about reference books, and you asked me if it was the same to look up the same kind of information on the Internet. I said that many times it was that you do get information of the same quality, and today, because of that, I want to show you a website that you might not know, which has very interesting tools. You see, it is here, www.lextutor.ca, and this is the information that it has. All this list of tools that you can see here. Um, this was done, I would like to say, by the University of Quebec in Montreal. Um, and it is, I think, extremely interesting. From all this list of tools, I'm only going to show you two today in some detail, and then you can explore the rest, and you can also explore these two tools better. The first one we are going to see is this, concordance. The concordance, or what is known as the concordancer, uh, is a tool that will allow you to find in what linguistic environment words occur, that is, word combinations, uh, as you can see, and collocations, and also it will find you to solve grammar problems, because what you can find here is what words other words go together with. We have to make a few choices. The first thing is we have to choose English to start looking up words. And we're going to give an example of what happens if we find words here. Let's choose the word responsible. And we have to choose a corpus to find it in. We have this list of corpuses, which is very long. We are going to choose this, a written corpus, because we are trying to find the uses of responsible in what we have to do in class, which is to write uh, formal language. And we are going to choose to put it together with the preposition for, because this is a common combination, and for has to be to the right. After we've chosen all this, we can click here on Get Concordance, and this is what we get. A whole list, as you can see, of uh, sentences in which you have the word responsible, and it says here that we have found 68 hits. This word appears 68 times in this corpus of one million uh, words. Now, let's go back to see what happens if we use the same word, responsible, but with one expression that I'm interested in because you use it more or less often, which is the responsible one. Let's choose the corpus again. Let's make it written again. Um, let's add the, res the word one here. And we also have to choose the option of finding it to the left of responsible. We have all this. Let's do the same. Get concordance. Well, here is the answer. Zero hits. This is actually a very colloquial combination, and that's why you don't find it in writing in this corpus of one million words, I repeat. That means it's not a very good choice when you are writing. This is how you can check many of the things that you have doubts about and many of the uh, words you are not sure whether to use or not when you write. Good. This is one of the tools. Let's come back to the home page and go to the other here, range. Range is a tool that allows you to see the frequency of occurrence of words both in spoken and written language because it's, it establishes comparisons between both. We are going to use the first option, corpus-based range, and you see here we have the two corpora that this uh, site uses. One is written and one is spoken. You, in this first option, find out if one word or phrase, etc., is more common in speech or in writing. Let's use a very obvious choice, the word thing, to see what happens with it. We simply click on Go, and here is the answer. 1,041 occurrences in spoken language, and 208 occurrences in written language. After this, we have the whole list of occurrences of each kind. But this result shows you, as you can see, that thing is not exactly the best choice for written language. It is on the other hand, a lot more common 
unspoken language. All right, this is what I wanted to say. This is just the beginning of everything you can do with this tool. I hope you find it useful and you enjoy it.